James Declan here from Anson McTaggart in Storrington. I'm here today to look around number 56 Dean Way, a great size four bedroom family home. We'll take a look around the outside, then head on in. Right, I'll show you a little bit around the outside first, and then we'll head on in. So this development was built in 2003 by Barrett Homes. You are a private estate. So this is a small annual maintenance charge to the upkeep of the communal areas. Um, so to give you an idea of location, we see Dean Way right at the bottom, so off Hallmare Crescent. Um, so there's plenty of little footpaths that lead through onto Hurston Lane, and obviously then back onto Hallmare Crescent, and then at the end, Chanctonbury Leisure Centre, and eventually back onto the High Street. So about a 20 minute walk, I would say, back into the centre of Storrington, about 10 to 15 minute walk from the local schools, and the Chanctonbury Leisure Centre. So let's take a quick look around the outside, and then we'll head on in. So approaching the property, got a decent driveway, so easily four cars on here. You've then got detached double garage with electric up and over doors and side access. Got plenty of storage above there as well for you. Side area here, perfect for bins. Back door there leads you into utility room. And heading through the side gate, you've got a fully landscaped rear garden. We are west facing here. You should probably get something about two o'clock, I would say. So, good size area of lawn. You've got bricked borders to the side and rear. Small area patio here. And a much bigger entertaining space here. Double doors there, that leads into the dining room. Side here, little sort of additional storage, and that obviously heads onto the conservatory. You've got an electric awning there as well for the warmer months. And the shed there as well, and then a mixture of borders to the side. Good size space. Plenty of room for a family. And a nice benefit as well with this property is you aren't overlooked. So if you're sitting in the garden, there is no windows looking on you, which is quite rare for a newer property. That's it's only built in 2003, but again, quite rare for the newer estates. You haven't got the neighbours looking directly in on you. Right, so let's take a look inside. As I mentioned at the start of this video, this property is rather deceptive. We're nearly 1,900 square foot of accommodation here, plus the garage as well. But coming in, good size entrance hallway. So sort of an L shape leading through to the principal rooms and then the first floor accommodation. But we'll start off at the front of the house and work our way through. So you've got a study here. All of this is fitted, so this would all stay for you. That looks back out onto the driveway. We've got on this door downstairs cloakroom. Okay, good size. Moving through, we've got a lovely light living room. Again, plenty of room for big freestanding furniture. Double radiator just behind the sofa there. And this beautiful bay window. I've been here in the morning. And normally the sun is shining through we're well, obviously not a great day today but that looks back out onto the front of the property fitted blinds there as well feature electric fireplace and then understairs storage cupboards and this room here is your dining room or another reception room kit space however you want to use it but you've then got patio doors that lead back out onto the garden. Been fitted blinds in here as well. And then finally, completing the ground floor, it's a fantastic entertaining space. So you've got kitchen, breakfast, family room. So the kitchen has been upgraded. So you've got a shaker style unit which is like a light cream, I think it's Wren they used to do the kitchen. So you've got a fitted double oven, space for a dishwasher as well, and then plentiful 
range of units. Four ring gas hob, another fitted cupboard here. Room for a breakfast table, and then space there for an American fridge freezer. Utility room, again with space for two appliances, so obviously your washing machine and tumble dryer. You've got your boiler there again, which is a recent addition. And that door leads back out onto the garage and side path as well. So then you've got probably what is originally meant to be is the dining area. They've got like a, a small seating area, but no reason why you can have that doubled up. There's another dining area, should you wish. And then obviously addition that's not standard to the build, your conservatory. It's a lovely big entertaining space. Nice flow. Gives you an idea of the size of the property. It gives you three generous reception spaces to use here. So you've got the living room, obviously separate dining room, and then the family entertaining space back here, plus your study. Right, so heading up to the first floor, you've got four bedrooms and the family bathroom with two ensuite bedrooms. We'll start with the main bedroom, which is off to our left here. So a generous double room, range of fitted storage to our left as we come in. This looks back out onto the close, so we're just above the living room currently. But plenty of room for a good sized bed. And behind here, we've got the ensuite bathroom. So you've got a bath in here, but no reason should you wish to. Obviously, change that to a shower if you wanted. And back out onto the hallway, we've got bedroom number three, which actually is a very good sized double. Again, fitted storage just as we come in here. This looks out onto the green that I mentioned at the start of the video. Back through, we've got the family bathroom. It's got three piece suite, with vanity unit. And then bedroom four is currently used as a dressing room. So the current owners have put a range of fitted storage in here, but no reason these can be taken out if you needed it to be used as a bedroom. I would say it's probably a small double, but a, a good size single room. And that again looks out into the garden. You've got airing covered here with your mega flow hot water system. And then bedroom two. Now most people in this house design use this as their main bedroom, purely because it's located at the back of the property and overlooks the garden. But you've got two equally sized bedrooms with en suites. This one has the shower in it. So you've got a walk-in shower, toilet, and hand basin with vanity unit and storage either side. And obviously then views out into the garden. But I say four good sized bedrooms, three comfortable doubles, and a small double general single. Number 5016 Wayne in Stonington. I hope you agree, a great size four bedroom family home and quite deceptive, so definitely worth a look at. If it's something you are keen to view, give us a call 01 903 746